will be negative that is called enthalpy change we already learned in thermodynamics so in exothermic reaction during the reaction it will release us energy that type of reactions exo means uh, it is exiting something coming outside so exothermic reaction it is releasing energy so delta h is negative then endothermic reaction endo it is taking outside as inside so delta h is positive so in these two cases temperature has an effect if it is at a equilibrium so we'll consider an example you can consider a general example that is ec a plus b giving c this here this forward reaction delta h is negative what whatever be the value we have to consider we, we cannot consider the we have to consider only the sign okay the forward reaction is delta h is negative that means forward reaction is exothermic if forward is exothermic backward will be what is that ah backward will be endothermic that is clear <coughs> sorry so forward reaction is negative and backward reaction is uh, enthalpy change is positive that is forward reaction is exothermic it is releasing heat and backward reaction is endothermic that is it is absorbing heat so in this case if we increase temperature we are supplying temperature from outside we are increasing temperature so system want to decrease the temperature how can how can ah it will proceeds in a direction which will consumes heat that means if we increase temperature what type of reaction takes place ah it will use that heat it will use that heat that is endothermic it, in this case what happens backward reaction takes place that is we can generally say that if we increase temperature system want to decrease temperature by using that heat that is what type of reaction takes place endothermic reaction takes place then if we decrease temperature we are cooling the system that is temperature getting down system want to increase the temperature by ah exothermic it will release temperature so system can reach us that equilibrium stage so by decreasing temperature what type of reaction takes place exothermic reaction takes place. so this is a effect of change of temperature so effect of change of temperature happens only for reactions uh, either of uh, uh, release heat or absorb heat that is either exothermic or endothermic reaction that type of reaction if we increase temperature a uh, endothermic reaction will takes place if we decrease temperature exothermic reaction will takes place <laughs> last but not least we can consider the effect of addition of catalyst we know that positive catalyst or promote will always increase the rate of reaction so at equilibrium for a, for a system at equilibrium if you add for a reaction at equilibrium if you add catalyst what is the effect of catalyst actually catalyst has no effect on equilibrium because it will increase the speed of forward and backward reaction at the same rate it will helps to reach a say reaction at equilibrium very faster for example for a reaction takes 10 minutes to reach us an equilibrium if we add a catalyst that depends the catalyst depends on the reactants if we add a catalyst maybe that will reach us in one minute that means it will increase the rate of both forward and backward reaction in the same rate it will not affect the equilibrium so these are the different factors which will affect equilibrium so using with the help of Le Chatelier principle we will explain 
all these factors and one of the most favorable application of Le Chatelier principle is that we can uh, select the condition for the favorable production of a particular product. We can select pressure, temperature, uh, concentration etc. to increase the uh, production, increase the production of products. That's all for today.